Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome. Good morning. This is Julie Geigel, spiritual wellness junkie, and I am here this morning to share three amazing things with you. We're going to be talking about the energy forecast for this week. Where is your energy best spent? And we're also going to be sharing a beautiful, blessed healing. So coming together as prayer warriors, uh, creating this beautiful prayer chain for you every single week. Uh, so we'll be inviting in your spiritual team and opening that awesome vortex of infinite blessings and healing for everyone. And then at the very end, we give away a free psychic reading to our live audience. So we hope you stick around for that. And so let's just go ahead and dive right in here, finding my notes quickly. There we go. All right. So where is your energy best spent this week? Well, I have some exciting news. <laughs> your energy is best spent saying yes and moving forward, taking action. So the energy in the universe is really supporting that forward movement, that forward motion as we prepare for the new moon coming up next week. Next Monday, we have an exciting, awesome new moon, new moon coming up. And new moons are all about fresh starts and new beginnings. Uh, so it's a great time to start something new. It's a great time to forge ahead uh, with uh, switching up your schedule, kind of changing up your routine a little bit. If you are joining us live, we'd love it if you'd say hello in the comment section. Tell us where you're from. If you're coming back later and watching the replay, be sure to drop uh, hashtag replay for us. If you're brand new here, uh, don't forget to drop hashtag new so we can send you a special welcome. Um, but yes, yes, tell me where you're from. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at uh, my news feed on my phone. It's um, interesting because a lot of times I can't see it um, when we do the live here, which I always think is, um, yeah, the, the lovely universe, their, their way of saying, okay, we're going to make you work for this one. Okay, awesome. So if you're joining us live, uh, we'd love to hear from you. We are talking about where is your energy best spent this week? And so this week is all about moving forward. So whether it's a romance you're considering, uh, somebody new has come into your life and you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to decide, oh, should I move forward th with this person or should I kind of let it go? It's two thumbs up. It is, you know, full speed ahead all the way, all the way. So whether it's romance or career, the universe is really supporting you right now in opening up those possibilities and really jumping in and taking advantage of that. Because that drain has been unclogged. Uh, so any of those feelings of uh, maybe you were feeling stuck or maybe blocked, all of that's being cleared out. This beautiful energy is just coming in. Uh, kind of reminds me of that vacuum cleaner that is electric. <laughs> uh, that kind of just moves on its own throughout the house. Uh, and that's what's happening is, you know, the, the universe, your team is just cleaning, cleaning house. Getting rid of all that stuff that's been blocking you or keeping you stuck. So... Cleaning it out. Um, the way is clear, the path is known, and action is now, right now. The sooner the better, because uh, when the universe opens that gateway, it's now. And I am seeing there's like this window of opportunity, and so it doesn't stay open forever. And that's why our energy forecast changes from week to week, because we're focusing on different things depending on what week it is. And so this week is really that gateways open, two thumbs up, green lights all ahead, um, and the universe is supporting in that action. So don't delay, don't put off, don't wait till next month or next year or blah, blah, blah. It is now. So whatever action that you can take to support forward 
movement is key. So it doesn't, you know, you don't have to quit your job today and start something new right now. Uh, it can just be taking an action. Maybe your action is simply writing that intention down on a piece of paper and then focusing on that as you move through your your day or, or your week. Um, maybe it is about creating a bridge. What is it that you enjoy? Create that bridge so that you can turn that dream job into a day job. So uh, harness the power of the universe right now and um, that divine intelligence really pay attention to your intuition and your gut. I know a lot of times when things aren't right for me to take action or to move forward, I get end up with a headache. <laughs> Um, and so I know for myself, that's always a sign, always a sign for I me. See it on my phone. Um, it's, um oh, there's everybody. Um, all right. Well, let's say a special shout out to a few people. We've got Lacey. Good morning, Lacey. And, uh, Teresa. Awesome. You can join us from Canada. And, um, Lacey's from Arizona. That's so awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks, girls, for joining us here this morning. We are sending you much love and blessings today. All right. So this week also is about movement in your career. So we did talk about how it's romance and career, um, but specifically with career, it's about asking for what you want. Okay. People are not mind readers. If you are feeling some unease with coworkers or maybe your boss, this is the energy that's supporting you in standing up and speaking your truth and saying, hey, you know, I really would like it if you would do this or, you know, that I noticed this. Is it possible to maybe add this to it or um, rethink how we're presenting that? Uh, so I just know even in my own personal life, there were a few things that uh, have come up this week where I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to let it go. And then I could hear that voice in my head going, nope, <laughs> it, it's bothering you um, because you keep thinking about it. Uh, so don't let it go. Just um, have that conversation with that person. And you don't have to come in all guns a blazing, you know, screaming and hollering or being angry about anything. It's just um, speaking your truth with integrity and assertiveness that, you know, this is how I'm feeling. And is there something that we can do here so that we're in alignment with each other? Because what happens when you ignore or deny your feelings as you're moving through your experiences is that, you know, you, we stuff them. Oh, well, that, it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Um, and then what happens, yeah, we know what happens is that uh, somebody triggers us or pisses us off and then the next thing you know it's an explosion and a lot of times it even isn't even that person it's just building up and building up of all of these things over sometimes you know months or years so deal with it now don't deny your feelings don't ignore um when you know you're feeling like something's out of alignment uh be honest and true to yourself and the people that are in your life all right. Um, so perfect. So spell it out, keep it simple, and live your truth. That's where the energy is supporting you this week. Don't assume. Don't assume other people know uh, what you're thinking or how you're feeling or that they've hurt you or wronged you or something upset you don't assume that they either did it purposefully or that um, they are careless. Uh, don't make any assumptions. Just uh, get that out there, clear the air so that you can move on in peace and harmony with the people around you. So this is also a good time to engage in your dreams. Um, so Engaging in those hobbies, uh, I love uh, giving voice to possibilities and lost passions. Don't you love that? 
giving voice to possibilities and lost passions. So this week, I really want you to make time for things that you enjoy. So maybe that's reading or writing or taking a class or a workshop or joining a club. Uh, Do something that is feeding your soul Uh, because, you know, one of two things. Number one, that passion could possibly turn into your day job instead of the dream job. Number two, a lot of times when we pursue passions, it opens up a gateway. Uh, So the passion isn't necessarily about turning it into a job or something that makes revenue. The passion can also simply be a portal or a gateway into unlimited possibilities. So if we um, dumb it down or bring it back, this experience here on the planet is about being in your joy, living in your truth, um, being joyful, blissed out, and just filled with that unconditional love. And so when you are in alignment with that high vibration, because that high vibration is the essence of your spiritual being. And so any time, any time that you can get into that frequency, into that alignment with your spiritual being, it opens that gateway. It you're literally stepping into the fifth dimension, um, which is so cool because that's what it is. That's, it's simple. It's not hard. It's not something very um, complicated. Um, So don't focus on how you're going to get there or how you're going to make it happen. I mean, if you really are looking at turning that uh, dream job into a day job, a lot of people get hung up on, oh, I'll never be able to do this. This is never going to be able to replace my current income or, you know, we have a million things we tell ourselves. So let go of the how. That's not your job. And that's where our ego gets caught and hung up. This week, the universe is really supporting clearing all of that out. Your job is to simply focus on what you love and to be present as you're moving through your day. So even if you're doing something that doesn't make you sing, (laughs) try to have that smile on your face. Try to have that joy in your heart. Fake it till you make it because your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and illusion. And over time, your brain is going to take that illusion and turn it into reality because what we think about, we bring about. Law of Attraction, Basic Principles. And good morning, Monica. We've got Mary. Um, Awesome to have you here. And we have um, Jamil. Wonderful, wonderful that you could join us this morning, everyone. All right. So don't undermine or minimize the importance of joy in your life. A lot of times we get on that hamster wheel and we go, 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 go. And uh, we forget we forget that 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 is a means to an end. But what really fulfills us, what really enables us to live on purpose is when we can find peace and joy no matter what we're doing, no matter what we're engaging in. Uh, because it's all about the feeling. The universe provides that feeling. So if you're feeling frustrated and, oh, this is never going to happen, the universe just gives you more of that back. Um, So step into that feeling and uh, align with the joy that you are because it opens that portal. So love that. So love that. Okay, I think I hit on everything this morning. And um, if you're new here, be sure to uh, drop a hashtag new in the feed below. If you're coming back to watch the replay, don't forget hashtag replay uh, down under there. And, 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 and if you are wanting more, if you'd like your own personalized energy forecast, I offer a 
beautiful diamond mentorship program. We meet every month for 30 minutes and it comes with our incredible inner circle membership. Uh, and we do have a couple spots uh, open here this month. So if you'd like to take a peek at that, we would love to invite you to join us there. It's an amazing experience. And you can find more information at juliegeigel.com. And it's a brand new month, October. Yay! I love fall. And Halloween is always loads of fun. Um, so for October, we have a brand new meditation. And our meditation for this month is... Um, I have it right here. <laughs> it is creating. That's right, creating. And let me give you an affirmation this morning, or our quote. Uh, the past creates depression. The future creates anxiety. And the present... The present creates peace. So the past creates depression. The future creates anxiety. And the present creates peace. So our free meditation uh, today is on creating uh, and harnessing the law of attraction. Actually going beyond, moving beyond the law of attraction to harness the power that lies within you. I will have that posted on my website in a few hours, probably about noon. I'll have that ready for you to download. It will be on our blog. So be sure to go to heavensenthealing.us forward slash blog to access. Um, we do a quick recap of today's show show and then we have our free meditation for you all right so we're going to move into a blessed healing for everyone this morning and then we will end with a free psychic reading for one of our loyal uh, fans uh, who are joining us live here today so what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and rub your hands together perfect and I'm going to get my little Buddha guy. Um, I've actually, I, we're in the middle of our manifesting mastermind, and uh, it's still open if anybody wants to come in and take a peek at that, but uh, we have an anchor. So it's a 28-day program, and then as you go through the 28 days, um, you have your anchor. And so my anchor is this beautiful little Buddha. Isn't he adorable? I mean, I just love him. <laughs> okay, and so... Um, if you've got something sacred that you'd like to grab during our prayer here, um, please do so. And again, if you haven't rubbed your hands together to activate the beautiful, beautiful energy, let's do that right now. And what I want you to do is call in your spiritual team. Oh, and Metatron, of course, is front and center always. Um, and whoever's in your team. We have angels and guides and loved ones who've passed. And a lot of times I see pets. Um, we've got totem animals. Everybody's coming in for you for this blessed healing this morning. And I'm going to go ahead. I grabbed my past tense oil. I'm a huge fan of the essential oils, as is everybody nowadays, which is so awesome. So, oh, I love the smell of that. And my hands, I can feel tingly, uh, heating up. So we're just creating a beautiful prayer chain for you. We're here to support you every single week in love, in joy, in peace. And so just imagine coming together, showing up for each other every single week to pray for each other. To pray for ease and effortlessness in your life. Endless blessings of prosperity and abundance. Opening up unlimited possibilities. Trusting and believing that God is with you. That the, the divine source energy, the universe, has your back. And there's a bigger plan. There's a bigger plan that you don't even know about. And even if you get everything wrong, even if you get everything right, that plan is happening. It's unfolding. It is seamless. Oh, just feel the, the glory in those words. To know that you, you can't ever get it wrong. That you're doing everything perfectly. 
and that the more that you can trust and believe that there's a higher power working in your life and that everything is evolving as it should. There are no accidents, no mistakes. It's all happening in divine order. The more that you can attract that power and literally create your own reality. So when we say beyond the law of attraction, that's what we're talking about. Going beyond your ability to create for yourself and trusting that there's a plan, there's a higher power, there's God, the divine source energy, and he has got your back. He's bringing you the people, the experiences, the opportunities to make it happen ensuring your success. Use me, Lord, for a purpose greater than myself, and may I be a blessing to all I come into contact, all the people, everything, all of the energy that I come into contact with. And now just imagine beaming your light out through the whole planet. Imagine everybody receiving a shower of blessings and that energy moving through your feet, kissing Mother Earth and sending her your love. And feel that power from above coming down through your body and just lighting you up from the inside out. You are amazing. If you could see the beauty within you that I do, you would be unstoppable. So trust me when I say, you are unstoppable. Yay! All right, clap your hands, shake that energy. Okay, we're going to move into our psychic greeting. All right, and we've got Mary Pillsbury. You are the first person I see in my news feed this morning here. Um, as I announce, we are moving into a psychic greeting, and it looks like Mary's free, or Mary's free. <laughs> um, Mary is new, so that is Awesome, Mary. Okay, so Mary, I am led to pull a card from our color deck for you. And um, this is what it looks like. We're going to just shuffle the cards quickly here. Alrighty. And the card that comes up, oh, it's a beautiful orange. Don't you just love that card? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, beautiful orange color just love that okay Mary so orange uh, the message for orange is to nurture yourself wow wow and that orange is the um second chakra yes 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 so the second chakra is all about honoring your feelings accepting I deserve to be happy so that I want that to uh, you to use that for your mantra this week, Mary, I deserve to be happy. So nurturing yourself, this is all about putting you forward, kind of in alignment with our forecast for this week. It's about you stepping into your own light. It's about you putting yourself forward and not you're not on the back burner. Absolutely not. You are standing in your power putting yourself forward, making decisions based on what's going to make you happy, not somebody else. Um, so this is really, really important for you to kind of uh, take note of. Um, so this is about nurturing yourself, doing the things that make you feel good, um, certainly healthy, <laughs> healthy things, and uh, taking the time for you in your day. I know that's one thing. I'm crazy busy with lots of stuff. And I try to make sure I have an hour in the morning where I have my quiet time. And then at night, I have an hour or uh, 30 minutes at least where I love to read. So make sure you're getting me time in your day. This is really, really important to your health and well-being. All right, sweetheart, I hope you enjoyed that reading this morning. Um, we love you all to pieces. And one last thing I want to mention before I let you all go. I am hosting 
we are hosting, my wellness partner and I, um, our team is hosting a Whole30 Healthy Gut Challenge. So if you missed that post I made over on my personal page, um, be sure to go back and take a peek. We, I, am, uh, we are giving away a five cookbooks. So the first five people who join us with this Whole30, Whole Food 30 Healthy Gut Challenge uh, will get a free Whole 30 cookbook. And it's a slow cooker cookbook. So I'm really, really excited about this challenge. It starts on October 15th. Uh, again, if you're interested, just send me a private message or comment on that post, and I'll hook you up with some details on that. So it's all about all about healing your gut this month. So if you have any issues with leaky gut, if you've got candida, Hashimoto's, um, diverticulitis, anything in that gut area, any disease or discomfort in your gut, in your stomach, your intestines, any area below, that's what we're focusing on this month with our Whole30 Healthy Gut Challenge. And we hope you'll join us. I know you're going to love it. All right, everyone, have a beautiful and blessed week. We hope to see you back here next week at our new time, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, every Tuesday. So Tuesdays at 10. Um, this is Julie Geigel, the spiritual wellness junkie, wishing you many blessings and endless prosperity in your life. Mwah!